So, I've been seeing a lot of your comments asking about the GPUs we use to run Unreal Engine. I thought, why not give you all the details if you're confused or just thinking about it? In this video, I'll cover everything from the Unreal GPU requirements for Unreal Engine to the GPUs we started with, what upgrades we've made, and some recommendations for those of you looking for budget-friendly or mid-range GPU options for your game development projects. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the official recommended GPU requirements for Unreal Engine. If you're looking to get smooth performance and make the most of your development experience, you'll want to aim for some specific GPUs. For NVIDIA, the RTX 2000 series or newer is ideal. On the AMD side, the RX 6000 series. And if you're considering Intel, their ARC A series graphics cards or newer are recommended on official notes. Additionally, it is also recommended to have at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM in the GPUs. This ensures you can handle high-resolution textures and complex scenes without facing performance issues. Now let's talk about what we started with and what we are currently using. But if you don't know, we're a team of four people and we work from different places. When we first started with Unreal Engine, we had a mix of different GPUs. Here's what we were using initially. One of us was running on a GTX 1060 with 6GB of VRAM. Another team member had an RX 570 with 4GB of VRAM. And one of us had a GTX 1070 Ti with 8GB of VRAM. Our last member was on a laptop with an AMD integrated GPU, the Radeon RX Vega 7. As we dove deeper into game development, we quickly realized that some of our GPUs were struggling to keep up. Specifically, the GTX 1060 and the RX 570, both with less than 8GB of VRAM, were causing Unreal Engine to crash and freeze frequently. Our VRAM was consistently maxed out when working on more complex scenes. After a few months of dealing with this, we decided it was time for an upgrade. The team members using the GTX 1060 and the RX 570 both switched to the RTX 3060 which has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. This upgrade was a game changer. It significantly reduced the crashes and freezing issues, and we could finally work on more demanding tasks in Unreal without constantly hitting VRAM limits. Meanwhile, the 1070 Ti has been holding up well. Surprisingly, the laptop with the integrated GPU is also performing decently. This is mainly because the laptop has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is being used as VRAM, and the hardware is fairly up to date, helping it handle Unreal Engine better than expected. Now let's talk about the main question. If you're looking to upgrade your GPU or just getting started with Unreal Engine 5, here are some recommendations based on different budgets. For those of you on a tighter budget, there are still some great options that can handle Unreal Engine 5 well. I'd recommend looking at the RX 6600, which you can find for around $200. Another good option is the RTX 3060, available for around $250 or less, and you can also try to find used. If you're open to buying used GPUs, the RTX 2060 12 gigabyte version can often be found for under $200. These GPUs offer solid performance without breaking the bank. But if you have a bit more to spend and want to ensure smoother performance and future proofing, consider mid-range options. The RTX 4060 Ti, 16 gigabytes version is priced at about $450 or less. The RX 6750 XT is found at around $300, and the new RX 7600 XT is found at about $320, and it has even more VRAM, which is 16 gigabytes. These GPUs provide a significant performance boost and can handle more complex scenes and higher resolutions, making your development experience much more enjoyable. These recommendations should help you find the right GPU based on your budget and needs. I know there are many more GPUs out there that can run Unreal Engine effectively. If you have any recommendations or GPUs that have worked well for you, please share them with us in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by using the Amazon affiliate link in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps us out a lot. Also don't forget to check out our other devlog and videos for more insights on game development. Thanks for watching.